So I am going to a friend's village in Menina. But that's not what this video is about. This video is more like kind of a reflection. We'll talk more at the next stop. been a minute since I've like actually filmed something out here so this past month has been month month and a half has been kind of like some of the hardest month month and a half at site I don't well I kind of know why um, I've had some like issues at school and my counterpart just kind of up and left and um, yeah just just <laughs> not feeling like much is happening right now which is which is kind of in some ways just the name of the game like things these things just take time and uh, it's a, at some level about managing expectations like Peace Corps we're only here for two years that's I mean it seems like a long time but development wise it's not a long time and we're not like we spend a lot of time learning the language or at least I did um, yeah I mean things like this like getting out and biking good way to get through it um, going and visiting friends and yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways to, to kind of deal with that feeling. And at the end of the day, that, that feeling is one every volunteer is really going to have um, if you're thinking accurately about your service. I don't know. Um, if you're a volunteer and you, you feel like that or haven't felt like that, definitely let's start a conversation in the comments and, and talk about different ways to manage that and, and why we think that's the case. So the reason this past month has been hard has been less to do with like, um, well, I mean, it has to do with things in the village, but I mean, these are things that happen, right? So it's more just, Peace Corps is just not, it's, it's a weird job. It's not necessarily a hard job. I mean, it's hard in very specific ways, but it's not like day in and day out we're working really hard. I mean, I mean, at some level we are, but, um, we're just not getting, we just don't have much to show for it. Um, I mean, you never really get a break. Um, whenever we're in countries, we're representatives of, of the US, so we can't just go start doing crazy stuff because people are gonna be like, oh, Americans are like that, which which is probably not the case. And, um, you know, we, we can speak English when we're around each other, when we go for regional visits, but even then we're still we're still in Guinea we're still going out we're interacting with Ghanaians which which is not a bad thing I don't want to stop that but it, it means we can never be a hundred percent relaxed and normal I don't have anyone in the village I can just be myself around which is which is hard um, and which is frustrating and even just talking about things um, some of my some of my best friends are my students but I mean, even even if you had a, a U.S. student, even if you had a, um, a high school in the U.S., like they don't have the same experience as me. They don't. Yeah, I mean that's that's just the job. I don't want to say it's bad because um, it's not bad. It's, it's sometimes it's it's really interesting and really fun, and sometimes you have these like little successes that are amazing, and th that's all you need to get you through. But um, then other times, you know. Things are kind of dragging. I don't feel like I've had a really good success in the past month and a half ever since going back to site, which is very, very frustrating. Um, but that's also not abnormal. Like that's kind of the job. So um, gotta keep trying, I guess. <laughs> so we shall see. I didn't even recognize this intersection because it's it's like it's not rainy season now, but it's like the end of rainy season. Um, so I've never seen it all growing up like this. It's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, Maury's waiting on me over there. I gotta kind of get going, and filming takes a lot of energy, so I'm gonna kind of wrap this up. Um, I don't want to end on a bad note. So there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to actually. Um, uh, first off. My students are amazing. Um, 
we're doing revisions. So they'll come after school for like two or three hours for revisions in every class and um, really just, just some incredible kids and some really kind kids, some amazing, amazing students. Um, that, that I have a lot of hope for. I think they'll, they'll do really well. And there's like a girls revision we're running um, and they're so motivated. It's amazing. It's so inspiring. And so we're working with them to put on some theater piece for the rest of the community, which, which if it works, it'll be amazing. And it'll, it'll give them a little, initi um, little agency. It'll um, give them a little confidence. And, and it's really them, like they decided it. I've like kind of helped facilitate, but not me <laughs> it's all them like personally I also have <clears throat> so I like these vlogs are cool I like making them I started these vlogs specifically so I could start making videos because I wanted to practice and and just making vlogs even if they're not like super like beautiful cinematic groundbreaking work um, it, it just like technically it gives me a lot of experience editing and thinking about how shooting and all that um, but I have two short films that I'm um, kind of in the process, early stages, um, and I'm really excited. I've, one specifically, I hope to get out before the end of the year, so I don't know, keep me honest. Anyway, there's a moto coming, so I can go. Usually the shots I do riding like this are with the GoPro, but uh, no GoPro today, and plus the audio is always weird, and video quality. I'm, I'm a stickler for some video quality when I can be. So we're gonna wrap up like this. Subscribe if you're not already. Like, leave a comment. Tell me if you are a Peace Corps volunteer, tell me about your experience. I, I'm curious because uh, Guinea is definitely a weird Peace Corps country. It's definitely very unique. So I'd love to hear more about your experience. And yeah, this is kind of hard. I'm trying not to hit rocks <laughs> and die. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, if you're not in Peace Corps, I'd still love to hear from you. Uh, I'm not Peace Corps. Uh, most of your is okay. I'd still love to hear from you. So um, let me know. Um, let me know what you think you would find hard, what you think you would find interesting. Words of encouragement never on this. So yeah, and then share because. Eventually, I'm going to be putting these other films out. You know, I've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. So, definitely share with some friends and get some other people to subscribe. Let's get to a thousand by the end of the year. Alright, see you guys.